another bag I love. Let me just confess. <laughs> I love all my bags. If it's on this wall, I love it. Monica and welcome back to my channel all right today's video is my bag review my updated bag review um, I know I've shared most of the bags along the way when I received them but I decided that I will do the end of year bag review I did one I think mid-year and of course we've added some new things since then if you haven't seen that video make sure you check it out it's really fun but yes i'm gonna go over my bag collection well i was i would say definitely not in its entirety entirety <laughs> but i'm gonna go over um pretty much all the bags behind me um why i love them um how they're wearing would i buy them again and kind of like how I've been wearing them and all that good stuff. So very excited to share this video with you guys because I know you guys love the video, um, the bag video. So very excited to share. Um, there is no particular order. I will probably kind of go over like each brand. Some I only have one from the brand and we'll go over all of that. But it's fun because clearly, you know, my taste in bags completely all over the place, but I love a good bag. So yes, before we jump into the video, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm Lonnie. <laughs> I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of, out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion, and more fashion, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. In addition to sharing all my fashion loves, I do share um, home decor, we have fun vlogs, I do travel a lot for work has a fashion and lifestyle blogger, um, and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you pretty much love everything and you like my life, make sure you subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's on my money and TikTok as well for daily style inspo in between all my hauls and fashion videos and whatnot. So that way, you know, you're, you're up to date and all that good stuff. But yes, okay. So we've gotten all of that out of the way. Now it's time to get into this video. Actually, I almost forgot that I did it. I'm sharing my look with you guys. <laughs> and I remember the lipstick, the amount of people that ask me about lipsticks and I forget all the time, but today I did not forget. Um, the lipstick that I'm using is from Sicily. I'll come a little closer so you can see it. It comes with its own nice fun little like case thingy or I don't know why lipstick needs that, but it's fun. It's really pretty. The brand sent it, gifted it to me. Um, I did share that in a vlog. So if you guys are not following my vlogs, make sure you follow them. But the color is Rose Mexico, really pretty. Love, love, love. And I will also share my outfit with you guys. Um, okay, so my outfit sweater is from Shopbop. I cannot remember the exact designer, but of course I will have everything linked. Um, the jeans are MM6 Mason Margiela. I love them. It took me a minute to find these jeans, and I'm so happy I finally found them. Like, the fit everything look at how rat how high that rises this is probably at least 13 inches high I, did, I can't remember the specs on it a lot of these brands don't even really put all the details but you can tell anything that's a little higher than your natural waist at least for me is about 13 maybe 13 and a half um, and I love it it just fits so good and it looks great on the bum because it really emphasizes on that smaller waist. And then the sweater frames the waist. So you really get all these really cool details. I am obsessed with this whole look. <laughs> um, and then shoes, we've got the Bottegas. Perfect match with the mesh and then the sweater. I'm loving this. And then earrings, we've got my extra large hoops from Lana Jewelry, got them at Nordstrom, love them. This is kind of like my second go around with these earrings because the first pair I got kind of broke, but I haven't been able to find anything that's this big in real gold and just has the same look and vibe. So I, I love it. Rings, we've got Lagos, we've got Judith Ripka. Um, 
Ah, oh, this Judith Ripka ring is just everything. Then on, over here, we've just got David Yerman, my Michelle watch, Cartier on this hand, which is not really showing. But yes, this is what I'm wearing today. Outfit of the day while I shoot the bag video. Now let's get into the video. Now for the video, the first um, brand that I'm gonna go over will be Dior. I have a little list of everything just in case I forget anything, but my typing is so small. I made the font so small that I'm like literally like piercing through to kind of like see it. <laughs> but anywho, the Dior bags, saddle bags, and this is another reason why I love this unit in my office. Normally when I'm doing these um, bag reviews, I have to like pile everything up and it's so stressful like cleaning up, but because I've got the fun unit, I can just, so yeah, anyway, whatever. <laughs> anyway, the first bag, the saddle bag, I've had this bag forever. I can't even remember what year I got it. I got it right as they relaunched the saddlebag. I think that was 2008, if I'm correct. No, not 2008, 2018. Um, it's definitely been a love of mine. I wanted one. I had one the first launch. And then when I worked luxury retail, um, I shared a stock room with Dior at one point, And they have been talking about the release of the bag forever. Like it didn't come out until about five years later. So. I knew that it was coming and I wanted it for a good five years. So when it came out, I had to have it. I, I had to have it. Love the bag. Um, I don't use it as much. I probably used it once or twice this whole year because it's super small. Mind you, I have no issues with small bags, but the opening is very narrow. So it is a little difficult to put stuff in it which means I don't really use it as a day bag per se, but I've taken it for dinner. It's still a great bag. I, I think I bought like two or three straps to go with it just to, you know, kind of really switch it up and whatnot. But because I have so many other options, I just don't gravitate towards it as much, but there will be moments where I, when I do, but I still love the bag. It's a great bag, obsessed with it. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Um, I dressed it up, I dressed it down, but I find that in this size, which is a smaller size, it's more, I would say it's better for date night or things where you just don't need a lot of stuff because of the opening. You know, you're very limited in terms of what you can put inside of it. It also does have a slip pocket at the back, which also, you know, you can help, help put credit cards or anything you need easy access to. But overall, it's a great bag. Um, at this point, I've had it for so long, so there are little scratches here and there, but they don't really show. So I'm still in love with it. On to the next. All right, so the next bag is my Dior Bobby. Another bag I love. Let me just confess. <laughs> I love all my bags. If it's on this wall, I love it. So you'll hear that pretty much throughout. Um, but yeah, the Dior Bobby, love it. I remember when Randy, shout out to Randy, Dior Atlanta at the Shops of Buckhead. If you need a good bag, anything from Dior, Dior um, at, um, at the Shops of Buckhead, go to Randy. Go to Caleb at um, Saks, so my people. But yes, Randy sent me an email about this bag before it dropped. And right as I saw it, I was like, yep, that's it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> um, and when it came in and he called me to pick it up, I was just as impressed. This is an absolutely beautiful bag. I know Dior is now coming out with the East West version of it. I have to say I'm not a fan. I'm just really not a fan of overly rectangular bags. I just feel like they don't stand the test of time. And we've seen this in multiple silhouettes and multiple brands bringing out rectangular bags. Um, visually bags that I find that that last or our staples for brands are usually a bit more proportionate. Um, and the East West Dior Bobby is just really narrow. It almost looks like, you know, those long dogs. I can't remember their names. I don't, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm just not a fan, but this proportion, this shape, this silhouette, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the large size. This is the large size. I think there's a medium and there's a smaller size. They might have even introduced it in a micro now because I know Dior did the micros in a whole bunch of their iconic bags. And I love this bag. I just think it's absolutely beautiful in the box calf. Um, considering it's a white bag, it has worn very well. I wore the hell out of this all of last year. I continue to wear it. Um, I actually changed the strap. This is one of the older straps that I bought for my um, Dior saddle bag. And I took its strap off to just kind of, you know, switch it up a little bit. But um, I love the strap. I love the fact that you've got the gold hardware, even with the silver hardware or the chrome, 
um, from this older strap. It still looks good. It still works. It just makes it a little bit more casual. Um, I'm a, truly a fan of the bag. Love, love, love. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Honestly, I'm toying around the idea of buying it in another size. So that way, well, let's just say that my whole rule of not buying the same bag in a different color has kind of gone out the window. But... I'm still trying to stick to it because there's just so much out there for me to buy like the same bag over and over again just seems a little redundant to me however I get it but I figured I might as well do like a different size at least or just something to switch it up a little bit but anywho love this bag I've worn the hell out of it mostly casually just because of the size and the um, the strap option but um, for a dressier option I would say to definitely go for the smaller size on to the next all right, next we have my Diorama. This is probably my oldest Dior bag. Is it? I think it is. At least that I have now. I did get rid of quite a few of my Dior bags. Um, I think it was over the summer. And just really more of the logo pieces. I'm kind of just, I don't know, I'm more into the leathers and whatnot as opposed to just an all logo bag. So I got rid of um, most of my Dior pieces that had like all the logos and whatnot. But And I was going to actually sell my Diorama. Um, I took it into I think the real real and what they were offering was nothing worth the bag. Plus I now went back to the Dior store and there you know this was the last collection from Ralph Simmons. It's a collector's item and honestly it is truly truly a beautiful bag. I am obsessed with it. The workmanship on this bag is just phenomenal. You can definitely see his architectural background in terms of the lines and whatnot. I know it's not like the it bag for Dior anymore, but it is still an amazing bag. The leather looks great. I do take really good care of my bags, despite the fact that I do use them very well. Like I use them, I don't pamper my bags, but I, you know, I'm very mindful when I carry them. So it's a great bag. I haven't used it much this year, but you know, I'm still gonna keep it uh, unless somebody offers me a really, really good price for it. But for the most part, I think I'm just going to keep it. And then, you know, when I feel like I need a black and silver bag, I'll just pick it up. But obsessed with the bag, great condition, still one of my absolute favorites in my collection. Love it. On to the next. I'm going to try and be fast with this because I have 32 bags that I'm sharing with you guys. So I'm trying to be mindful, but let's keep on going. Next, my Dior book tote. I got this baby when I was in Paris. I shared the story in an unboxing and all of that. But one of my absolute favorite bags, um, got it in the leather, super durable. I literally just got back from a trip. The best travel bag ever. I use the hell out of this bag. Honestly, I really just use it for travel right now, but it is such a great travel bag. I love it. It takes a beat. It really takes a beating. And I am not gentle with this bag and it is, it's come through every time. I love this bag. If you are interested or contemplating getting the Dior Book Tote, 100%. Great work bag, great travel bag, very sturdy. It sits very well on your um, carry-on spinner. Um, and I just love it. It is a little heavy, but it is a thick leather bag. So you can't get around that. Um, it's just an oak the opening, but I finally got an organizer for it. And it really helped with the last trip because I was able to put my big cameras in there, all my equipment, my laptops, books, um, another bag inside of it. It's just a great bag to have, a great travel bag. This will live in my wardrobe forever. Um, if this gets run down, I might buy a new one. That's how much I love the bag. Obsessed. On to the next. All right, so my next bag from Dior is my Lady Dior bag. I am obsessed with this bag. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I just, I love it. It is in lambskin, so it's a bit more delicate, but I've used it quite a few times and it's been pretty good. It traveled well. Um, when I traveled, I think I just stuffed stuff inside of it. Like I just put stuff inside of it for it to hold its shape. Um, I do have a little twilly. I know Dior calls it something else, but I can't remember. And um, I took it off. I can't remember why I took it off, but yeah. It's beautiful with or without the silk twill thingy on it. I think I wanna buy another one though. So the bag also comes with a really great strap that I love. Um, I had to get initials on it. Normally I, use, I usually just do like M-A-E or M-E. So M-A-E Monica Aw E Took or M-E Monica E Took. But um, Randy was like, why not do Aw, you know, for the for the brand Aw by Monica. And that's my maiden name as well, um, which is Awe, but 
also in the English language it's pronounced awe. So in awe of, so it did that for the strap. And I love the bag, I've used it a ton. Like I said, it's one of those bags that's super versatile because you can, you can dress this up easily. Like it's a great dinner bag at this size, which is the small size if I'm correct. But at the same time, you can, you know, put the crossbody on it and make it more casual. Like it would look great with this outfit with jeans and with so much more. So it's just a great bag. I initially got the bag in patent leather. Um, I think I got it around my birthday in patent leather. And then when I went to the store, they're like, eh, it's a little bit, you know, the patent leather, it's a little on the older side whatever that this red was more me and honestly I wanted a blue red so when he showed me this one I was just like yes the patent leather I actually ordered online this is why I'm like with luxury I'm not really a fan of ordering bags online because you just don't know and when you're spending this much money you really want to see it and I'm happy that you know they were able to make that exchange for me because this red is everything. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Now I'm just on the hunt for shoes that will come in a similar hue so I can kind of, you know, not overly matchy, but at least have some kind of matching red shoe when I want to match. So yeah, love the bag. All right, so that is it for Dior. Next, I have this beautiful clutch from F&W Style, which is owned by my girl, um, Alexandra. It's a black owned business. I love this clutch. I've had this bag for so long. It literally is the perfect clutch. I've never showed this bag, um, but I'm like, you know what? It's on display in my office. I truly love it. Um, it's got the pink lining on the inside. Clearly, I use all my stuff because I've got you'll see stuff. If, when I show you the inside of my bags, there's always stuff inside. Cause like I said, I use all my bags. They're not just for display, they're for use. But I love the pink detail on the inside. It's just a great dinner bag. It also has a gold strap and it comes in an array of color I, colors. Um, I feel like I need the purple one. The purple one is absolutely stunning. So I might get the purple one from her as well. But I just love this bag. It's a great piece to have. I've had it for years. It's one of those pieces where you just want a clean classic bag to go with a beautiful gown or just something for dinner. So always a fan of this. Love this bag. On to the next. All right. So not all my bags on are on display. I have like little cupboards for like bag overflow. Um, this bag is a newer bag for me. It's from Brahmin. Um, and I love it. So th even though I'm in partnership, I've worked with Brahmin on Instagram. If you're not, if you're not following me on Instagram, guys, you need to follow me because if you're on Instagram, you would have seen this bag and the way I styled it. Oh, love. But I love the bag. I love a good bucket bag and I haven't had one in a long time. So this one was really fun. I love the silver and the blue detail. Um, I feel like this is a great bag for denim, you know, with a great white shirt. Um, the Manolos look great with that. That's how I styled it on Instagram. Um, I'm truly obsessed with the bag. I haven't worn it like worn it worn it other than shooting so i will definitely keep you guys posted and you'll probably see the bag as well but in my outfit of the day videos if you're not following the series make sure you follow it but yes i love the bag it's called the marlo um and it's just a fun bag i love it i love the brahmin bags they're really fun easy to wear very durable and an extremely good price point so yes this is on my list love it on to the next all right, so the next bag is my Valentino um, Rock Stud, which is this fun little bitty here. Funny enough, this bag was not really on my radar, but my girlfriend, my girlfriend has one, and she messaged me when they were having their sale. So I was just like, at that price, why not? And I'm so happy I got it. This is a great bag. Like, it is so versatile. When I want a casual black bag and not to be bothered, this is kind of like my go-to, but at the same time, I can um, tuck in the strap or I can take it off and just kind of wear it has a clutch. So I really, really love it. I do wish it was a little bit bigger. It's funny because this is bigger than some of my other bags, like for instance, my Bottega mini pouch, which I'll share with you guys, but I feel like I can get more into the mini pouch than in this bag for some funny reason, which is very weird to me, but I still love the bag. It's a great bag. I don't carry much when I go out. So it's really just my wallet, my phone, which is usually in my hands and maybe um, a lip gloss or a lipstick, but I don't carry a lot. So bags like this, 
I love. Um, I have a good amount of bigger bags, so I love adding fun smaller bags that I can just grab and go, especially when I run errands or if I have to pick up the kids or whatnot. So I love this bag. It's one of my favorites. I got it on sale. That makes it even better. <laughs> but yes, love, love, love. On to the next. All right, so now we're going to go into Fendi. So let me just let you know, there are certain brands that I have a lot that I've really invested. Dior, Fendi, Chanel, Bottega, uh, Louis Vuitton are all brands that I have more than one. So, But now we're going to go into Fendi, which is like my absolute love right now. And the first bag, oh, my Fendi Peekaboo mini iconic bag in the full grain leather i'm obsessed when i tell you i'm upset like it's like that tiktok i'm obsessed yes this bag obsession when i saw it i knew i was like that that's it like there's just no two ways about it there's no need to think about it because it wasn't on my radar but this has been my experience with fendi with the, uh, with the exception of the fendi first like i'll go into the store and i see something and i'm just like that's it. And that was that for this bag. Like, first of all, the yellow, I think this is what made me a yellow believer and just became, I became obsessed with yellow pretty much the whole year. And I've taken it and I'm going to keep on rolling with the, with it. Cause yellow is just such an awesome bag. It's so versatile and it's not just for the spring summer months. You can easily carry it into the fall. And I've shown some outfits already, um, on my Instagram page as well as here has, help in different ways basically to wear yellow in the fall winter but love the love 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 the bag very durable very sturdy I've used the hell out of it um, I wear it as a crossbody I wear it as a top handle uh, the strap is beautiful I love the top stitch you can actually take the strap off but I just kind of tuck it in because I always find that I'm using the strap especially when it's on display I just tuck it in um, I love the little twilly thing on it. I haven't really, I haven't, I've never taken it off actually. So I'm sure the strap at this point will look a lot brighter than the body because I've used it a lot. Um, it's held its shape so well. I might buy the Defender for it. So just to give it a different look, I'm not sure. But I just, I love this bag. I love the top stitch detail. I just love everything about it. Um, would I buy it again? A hundred times again. Funny enough, even though I've used the hell out of it, there's still have, there's still the protective sticker on it. I keep on forgetting to take it off. I might just take it to the store and have them remove it because there's so much of it. But yes, love, love, love this bag. One of my absolute favorites. Great price point as well in terms of, you know, in comparison to like your Chanel or even Dior. So Fendi is killing it, killing it, killing it in my opinion. All right, next we have another absolute favorite, the Fendi Peekaboo. East West, I see you. <laughs> I love the bag. I love the bag. I love saying that. This is dr definitely, well, like I said, all of the bags are my favorites. I did the unboxing. I've done unboxings pretty much for every bag. So if you guys want full details, make sure you check out all my bag videos. I will actually list them all in the description box as well. So that way you can, you know, if you want more detail about the bag in terms of workmanship and what can fit in, uh, into them and all of that, um, you can check out those videos. So, cause this one, like I said, there's 32 bags. So we're just going to try and go through everything without making the video too long. But this bag is one of my favorites. One of my girlfriends, you know, she was asking me about bags and what to get and she's looking at Fendi. So it was kind of between this bag and the Fendi first um and she ended up going with this bag and she's done so many shoots you know let me pop up let me pop a picture of Sasha like how fabulous like I literally got on the phone with her and just kind of went over everything in terms of the workmanship and the detail and why each bag is good you know or what the benefits and whatnot so one moment please that's my alarm <laughs> All right, so my alarm to post just went off, so I had to stop to post sponsored content. Oh my God, I have this really cool collaboration with Bloomingdale's. You guys should check it out. Um, I'll have a picture pop up, because it's really cute. It's really cool. It's all, I love when I get to work with brands that I absolutely adore, and Bloomingdale's is one, as well as pretty much every brand that I work with. Um, at this point, I've been doing it for so long, so I can actually pick and choose who I work with, um, and I'm really grateful for that. Anywho, back to the bag. Yes, I recommended this bag to my girlfriend. She got it. She loves it. It looks great on her. It's just a classic bag. Um, 
there's something about the silhouette that I was just drawn to because I felt like it was very ladylike. It was very clean. I love the finish on it. The workmanship is immaculate. You guys, like, when you think about the price point of Fendi in comparison to Chanel or Louis Vuitton, they're honestly, in my opinion, they're somewhat undercharging for the level of workmanship, the craftsmanship, the attention to detail. I am a fan. If you want a great bag that is classic, timeless, that won't break the bank, definitely look into the Fendi Peekaboos. They are absolutely stunning. I think the Celeria leather is a little bit more on the pricier side of the silhouettes and they're a little heavier, but this one, in my opinion, is just one of my absolute favorite bags. And I think the thing that really sold me on it was the fact that I had, you know, well, I didn't, I bought the, the strap. I borderline hate the strap that comes with it. It's too thin. It's too like ladylike, in my opinion, like oldie, whatever. I'm old, so it doesn't, whatever I can say that, but I just don't, I wasn't a fan of the strap. Um, this strap definitely gave the bag a bit more of a contemporary vibe that I, that I just love. And I just love the juxtaposition of you have this fun contemporary, you know, a bit more modern strap with this very clean ladylike bag. And I love that. I love pieces that kind of, you know, embody that. And I just, that's my overall style and vibe. So pieces like this just make me happy. I love it. Classic. If you want a great bag, highly recommend it. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. This is a bag that I probably would break my rule and buy in a different color. That's how much I love this bag. All right, so this bag, the name just, you know, Sunshine Toe, the Fendi Sunshine Toe, it literally gives me joy. Um, I love this bag. I bought this bag before it officially dropped. The Fendi store at the Saks Atlanta got the bag and they had it for a top client um, but hadn't paid for it. And they're like, well, if you want it, it's up for grabs. So I got it a little bit before it came out. The price was, I think, I'm sure the price has gone up at this point. Um, and it was kind of one of the first bags that I got. I think I got it last year or the year before. I can't remember. But yeah, I got it for a trip. I got it before COVID for a trip that was planned. Um, and, you know, I still used it. I loved it. Um, it's one of my favorite bags. I've traveled with it. I won't lie. I'm always a little bit abrasive of putting, apprehensive rather, of putting a lot of stuff in this bag because of the beautiful tortoiseshell handle. But it's pretty durable. My sister even just got this bag. Like, it is just a happy bag for me like it puts a smile on my face every time and now they have it in so many colors and fabrications and i'm i won't lie i'm very very tempted to get this bag in a different color but i'm like i don't need it in a different color at all but it's just whenever I go to the store and I see them, I see the sunshine tone in different colors and the different sizes now. When I got it, this was the only size as well. And I talk about that in the my, my um, unboxing for this. But, you know, I'm so tempted to get a different size. I'm so tempted to get it in white with that ivory and that beautiful top stitch they had with that. Oh, yeah. Anywho, I love this bag. As you can see, it gives me joy. Would I get it again? Absolutely. 100% great bag, great, you know, everyday bag. If you, you know, are one to put a lot in your bags, I personally am not. Um, so it's not a great everyday bag for me per se, but if I'm going somewhere or if I need to return something and I don't want to, you know, I can just dump it in here because it takes a lot. Like it really takes a lot. So what am I absolutely, absolute, absolute favorite bags? You'll hear this a lot, but I really, truly, but you guys know, for those of you that have been rocking with me, you know how much I love the Fendi Sunshine Toe. So, great bag. On to the next. Ah, this little bitty bitty. The next one is my Fendi First Micro Bag. I don't know if I could even call this like a bag bag because it's just, it doesn't take anything, <laughs> literally. But it's the cutest thing ever. And it's like a really fun charm as well. Mind you, it does take money. So, you can put cash in there. And it's just a great accessory. So, in my opinion, and the way I've styled it, I've worn this bag and carried another bag um, just because it doesn't really take much. And I also like it because it's like an accessory. You've got the beautiful gold chain and there is a new chain that comes with it. Um, 
Derek sent me the picture of it, but I felt like the strap was uh, a little on the shorter side and I like my straps to be a little longer if I have the option. Um, so I, I didn't get it, but I love this bag and I love the chocolate. I have been on the hunt for the perfect chocolate bag and I'm yet to find one. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more bags this year. There's only what, like, what's today? I don't even remember what the day is, but there's only like two, three weeks left in the year. So I don't think I'm gonna get another bag before the year ends, unless they call me at Hermes, which I need to message them because they, they told me I would get my Kelly before the end of the year and there's only two weeks left. Anywho, I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> I love this bag. Um, it's beautiful chocolate. It's a great bag and it looks absolutely fun on my Fendi first. <gasps> <sighs> This bag, okay, this was another one where I got to see it before it hit the stores. I got, they sent me the line sheet so I knew it was coming. So I knew, right as I saw the picture, I was like, yeah, that's gonna be my next Fendi bag. So I knew. Um, however, I didn't get it immediately. I think, I can't remember what day it dropped. And then I think I saw like one or two of my friends wearing it on social media. The influencers get influenced too. So I think it was Coco. I think Coco, you guys have seen Coco in my stories. Um, she works with Fendi a lot. So they sent her the bag and I saw it on her. I was just like, I already, like I said, I already knew I was going to get it. I just wasn't in a rush to get it. Um, and then I got it. Well, actually I was working and they called me and well, Derek called me and he's like, Girl, your bag is here. You need to come get it because it's not gonna be here for long. And I literally put a hat, I think my hair was, a, I was a mess that day. Put a hat on, I looked like a homeless person and I went into the store and I was just like, okay, let's see the bag. And right as I saw it, I was just like, yeah. I'm like, I put it on because it has its own strap that I'm obsessed with and he's like, well, actually, I was like, it looks like it's mine. He's like, yeah, it's yours. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then we went over the workmanship and the detail and everything. And obviously, there's stuff in the bag because, like I said, I use my bags. And this is one that I use casually. I use, I use it so many different ways. I've done a live about this bag. I actually did um, product knowledge for a brand. And we use the live that I did for this bag has kind of just like that point of reference in terms of just getting a message and going over workmanship. This bag, and Fendi didn't pay me or none of that, but for me, when I see something that I absolutely love and I appreciate the workmanship, I share that with you guys because that's really my job is to kind of inspire you and to help you make wise decisions in terms of shopping and whatnot, and also to give style inspiration. But if you want a great bag, this bag is everything. I was very lucky to get it before the price increase. The price went up already, and I think I got it in July, and the price was up already in September because the demand is insane. And I feel like that is always an indicator when a bag is made well, priced reasonably, and obviously it's also an it bag. And clutches are really having their moment right now, so you know we're going to see more of this. It's just an absolutely beautiful bag, very well made. This is a bag that I will actually get in a different color. So that rule doesn't apply to this bag, but I will probably get it in the bigger size just to have the option. I just want the right one. There was one that I actually did purchase, but I ended up um, returning it. I, I never, I didn't even bring it home. I just, when I went to the store and I shared this in a vlog, I went to the store and I saw the material because they didn't have the actual bag in store and I saw the material that they were using for it and I wasn't blown away, I wasn't moved. So this is a very important thing guys, whenever you're buying bags or anything in general, especially at higher price points, make sure you're moved. Don't feel like, oh my God, because that person has it, that means I need to have it. When you see it, if it doesn't do anything for you, don't get it, period. Don't get it. But this bag moved me. This bag loved me. I created so much content around this bag and was not paid to do it, but I did it because I truly love the bag. I truly love the workmanship. It is a great bag to have. If you're able to get your hands on one, because they sell out everywhere, especially in this color, but if you are able to get your hands on one, you know, just make sure it's the right fabric for you and for your lifestyle and the right size for you and your lifestyle. 
And um, yes, I feel like you will not be disappointed. Also watch my video about this bag. So that way, you know, I go over everything, what fits in here. And the fact that you can fit so much into this bag is just a plus. So one of my absolute, absolute all time favorite bags. This will definitely become a staple for Fendi. It's doing too well. It is too well priced. So know that this bag will be around for a while and know that the price will go up. So keep that in mind. Um, oh yes, I would buy it like 10 times over. Absolutely. On to the next. All right, so next we've got this little baby, my little Gucci um, belt bag. Once upon a time, I was so obsessed with belt bag. You know what? Oh my God, I have a Jacques Mousse belt bag upstairs that I totally forgot about it. I need to bring that down. Either I need to sell it or I need to wear it. And unfortunately, I'm not sharing it because it's not on the 32 list and it's on the third floor. So sorry, guys. But the little Jacques Mousse had a little one and I just, you'll see it in the next haul. I'll wear it. I just totally forgot I had it. When out of sight, out of mind. Anyway, back to this one. This I got a long time ago. I cannot even remember the year I got it. I got it way before COVID. I think I got it for a fashion week. So maybe like 2018. Um, and I just, I loved the detail. I love the fact that it was in velvet. It sold out very quickly. So I knew I wasn't really able to link it, but I think Gucci still makes the original belt bag in the same silhouette in leather. Um, I toyed with the idea of selling this bag, but because I am obsessed with the belt, it comes with a very clean leather belt and I've used it multiple ways. Many people have actually messaged me about the belt because it's just simple, it's clean. I, back in the day, I used to collect Gucci belts. I still have quite a few of them, but I don't wear them, so I might actually sell them. But I used to collect Gucci belts and I would always love having just clean belts, just belts in general. I think I collected a little bit of everything. But anyway, I love the belt. It's just clean, simple with a gold buckle that comes with the bag. And then this also makes a really good dinner bag too, just holding it as a clutch. So I've kept it. I haven't worn it as a belt bag in a long time. I still will if the spirit moves me to that look. But in the meantime, love this bag. It's a classic for me and it just looks great on the shelf. So love it. Oh, it fell. On to the next while well, I fix the bag. All right. Uh, I did a little kick. The next bag, this one is a Strathberry bag. I like, I, no, actually I can say I love them. I really love this bag. This was gifted to me by the brand. And I, the brand has been on my radar for a long time, but I just never took the plunge and I never bought one of their bags. And when they reached out and they're like, oh yeah, blah, 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 we want to send you a bag, we feel like your bag. I'm like, hell yeah, I love your bags. Great price point, very, very well made. Extremely well made, especially at the price point. Love the detail, love the color. I had a Chloe bag. I think it was a Tessa, Tessa, I think that's what it was called. I had a Chloe, Chloe bag in the same color. So I sold that over the summer. And then, you know, this was my replacement for that, you know, beautiful burgundy rich hue. And the fact that it's got the pink detail was just a plus. Um, I did check on their website, funny enough. I checked on their website yesterday to see if they still had this colorway. I didn't see it. I know they have other bags in this colorway, um, but they have tons in this mini size. So this is the mini size in their East West mini bag. I love, love, love the bag. It's such a beautiful bag. I've worn it in some of my hauls. Um, I don't wear it a lot because I really feel, even though I don't, I try not to put a season on color, but more of what I wear in terms of what it looks best with is during the fall winter season. Um, so yeah, I'll probably start to wear it a little bit more, but I love the bag, beautiful bag. I would buy it again. I would probably buy it in the caramel. It's just I have a few caramel bags. You don't, you can't see them, but all the Fendi first and all my caramels are up there. But yeah, I don't know if I would buy it in caramel, but it's absolutely beautiful in that color. One of my girlfriends has it in, in caramel and I love as well, but love it. On to the next. Everybody's disturbing this video. Okay, I'll be right back. My doorbell's ringing. <laughs> Sorry guys, I feel like everyone's bothering this video today. Um, and I realized, I'm like, why am I wearing heels? Y'all, you, you don't see the floor. <laughs> so I took the shoes off. So if you notice a difference, that's because I took my shoes off and I had to get some coffee. Now, let's get back into the video. Such a cutie. I love this bag. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Beautiful bag. Cute bag. Love it. It was the color. Yes. That is exactly what it was. It was the color for me. When I saw the bag, Keith, Louis Vuitton at Saks was like, you're a fashion person. I'm going to bring something fun out for you. And I was just like, okay. 
<laughs> if you watch me when I shop, I'm literally silly because I get giddy over things that I do love. And when he brought it out, I was just like, how did you know? It was not on my radar, but it was that instant like, oh my gosh. I went to the Louis Vuitton store because I usually don't even go often because there's always a line and I'm just, and I've talked to you guys about this, lining up to buy luxury just doesn't sit well with me. It, to me, it just takes away from the experience. Even though I know the managers and I know people who work there, I'm not really a fan of cutting the line. If um, So I just try to avoid it when I can unless I have something on my radar or I make an appointment. So try and make an appointment. It just makes the experience so much better. Um, but yes, went there with a friend. She was getting her capsicine and he brought this out for me and I was just like, it's so pretty. And it has a strap that has pink in it. For those of you who don't know, I love pink. Pink is my color, even though I definitely have been cheating on pink with yellow and green and a lot of other colors lately, but pink is still my color. So the greenish yellow neon color with the strap, with the pink detail, and then the price was actually pretty reasonable. And the Alma is a classic. This is a bag that, you know, is probably, not probably, it's older than me. Like. This silhouette is just everything. I've always wanted an Alma bag. My sister has the most beautiful, extra large epi leather, but in a patent leather Alma bag that I'm obsessed with. And she's had it for years. So, you know, spending, I think this was like two something. I can't remember all the prices of everything because the prices have fluctuated so much. And I don't remember like the exact dates when I bought a lot of these bags, otherwise, I would have all the prices, or I would tell you guys all the prices. Um, and if you're every, if anyone has any questions about prices or anything else that I might be mis leaving out, please don't hesitate to ask me. I respond to every comment. I'm actually really good about that. Um, and also because my subscriber count is in moderation, so but I will still continue to try my very best regardless of how many comments to respond to everything. Um, but yes, if you guys have any questions about pricing, um, durability, whatnot. If you want to DM me on Instagram, it sometimes it takes me a minute to get to Instagram, but just leave a com um, a question in the comment section and I will get to it. But absolutely love the bag. Epi leathers are very durable bags, great workmanship, last the test of time. This bag has been a fun favorite for me. I haven't really worn it much the fall winter season, but I will because I'm all about color all year round doesn't matter. Some of my, I would say my color palette definitely leans more towards a more neutral when we get colder so I can, you know, add little pops of color here and there, but it changes. It really depends on my mood. So yeah, love, love, love this bag. Louis Vuitton, you really can't go wrong. They're known for their workmanship. It's always been really great, especially in their leathers. I'm not really a fan of the con canvas stuff because I don't really, I don't know, paying that much for canvas just isn't, I don't know, just not for me. For other people and who knows I might buy something in canvas that I might love but as of now I'm sticking to the leather but I love 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 this bag one of my absolute favorites it's fun it's exciting it did not come with this charm <laughs> because I love to wear my bags as crossbodies I love the option Keith suggested adding the charm to the strap and the straps actually not so bad so I can still wear it as a crossbody but I actually really love the way it became candy for the bag itself. So it really dresses up the bag a little bit and it makes it a bit more unique. So I love that. Also because they love me there and I love them. They did my stamping like immediately. So it was done within like an hour. Um, and normally I know they you have to go in and come back and whatever, but it's just, pers I love to personalize a bag this way. And it's just such a great piece and I'm so happy with it. And yes, love, love, love. Um, I don't think this color is available, but it does come in other colors. There's a gorgeous blue, there's a gorgeous caramel color. So it's a great bag to have and a very reasonable price point. So consider this if you want something that's not terribly expensive, but very functional and cute. Great as a dinner bag, worn as a top handle this way and great casually with your strap. You don't need this. This is just me being extra. <laughs> On to the next. Ladies and gentlemen, her. <laughs> I love this bag. So when I went in to get, or when I went in with a girlfriend, she showed me a picture of this bag. And I was like, that's really nice. 
So Louis Vuitton was not on my radar. The Capucine was not on my radar until she shared the bag with me, the picture of this. When we went in, they did not have this bag. She ended up getting a beautiful red um, in this same leather. Um, but I was just like, you know what? Eventually I'll get it. It's a beautiful white bag. I'm always in the market for a white bag because I love white bags. I feel like they pop, they're very chic. There's just something about them that's just like, mm. So I love white bags. So I figured, you know what, eventually I'll get to it. You know, it'll be there at the end of the year. And every time we would go into Louis Vuitton, they never had it. Um, so I was just like, okay, you know, eventually it'll it'll pop up or it'll, if it's meant to be, this is my thing when it comes to luxury. If it's meant to be, it will be, it'll show up one way or the other. So here I am, actually I bought a Chanel bag. I bought a cocoa handle and I shared this with you guys in one of the videos. Bought this beautiful Chanel cocoa handle in this gorgeous lilac color, but I left it at the store because there were too many people in the store, number one. And even though I loved it and it did move me, it didn't move me the way you'll see some of the other Chanel's that I got in some of the other bags that I did. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it and then I'll come back. Um, so on the way out, there was no line at Louis Vuitton. Nobody was there. And then my girlfriend's like, that's the bag you wanted. This beautiful capucine, which was made in the summer of 2020, was sitting on the shelf. 2021, I think this was what, maybe a few months ago. And when I originally went in, I think it was March. And then this was like maybe October and it was just sitting there calling my name. <laughs> it was sitting there. She was like, yes, the bag. I'm like, you're kidding. And then we go in and they bring it down and they're like, yeah, we literally just got it this morning. Don't know where it came from. We weren't really supposed to get it and all of that. And I'm just like, this is the bag. But I was just like, I just bought another bag. So I was like, you know what? Let me pay for this bag. Leave it with you guys. Go home, think about my life and figure out which of the two bags I wanted to get. And even though the Chanel was gorgeous, this bag, in my opinion, in this grained leather, with the iron snakeskin detail. At first I thought it was Python, but it's not. Python is raised, so it is iron snake. And iron snake is actually a little bit more durable than Python because with Python, the scales tend to raise and it'll look very worn and borderline sheepish after a while. So be very mindful of Python. And that's the thing with some luxury bags, it's not necessarily because it's more durable, but it's more delicate and, you know, all of that fancy stuff. But iron snake is definitely a better bet in terms of durability and the fact that you're you're holding the handle so yes i adore this bag um you've got the iron snake on the louis vuitton you've got the iron snake of the handle the gold trim detail it is an absolutely stunning bag it also comes with its own strap which is nice and thick which i love it's just a beautiful bag every time i oh i have a ring in here i was looking for this ring mm. <laughs> Every time I wear this bag, I get comp compliments because it is truly a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, I don't, yes, like I said, when, when I picked it up and when I actually went back, back to pick it up, you know, I know the managers there and they were saying, you know, it was this, that's when you know it's meant to be because this bag was so rare to come across. Like I said, every time I would kind of walk in or ask, they never had the bag. So in my opinion, those, that, those are the times when you know something is meant to be. And I love the bag. I've worn it numerous times, even though I've had it in a very short amount of time. Um, I don't pamper it, but it is a white bag. So I am very aware of this bag when I'm carrying it, especially if I'm wearing denim, you will not see me rubbing it against the denim. I will definitely hold it a little higher. I actually just try to avoid wearing it with denim because this type of leather will, you know, take off um, dyes that are not necessarily, you know, just like your denim basically. So you have the, the, the risk of, color transfer and I don't want anything ruining this beauty because it is truly a gorgeous bag. I just take a damp cloth and wipe it down and it's good to go. So I I love one of my absolute favorite pieces. Um, I'm very happy that I was able to get this this year. So now I just need to get the damn Kelly and then I'll be good. And then I'm like, yes, I don't need any more bags. Psych, but yeah, <laughs> I love this bag onto the next. All right, so next we've got the Loewe puzzle bag. 
Another bag that I absolutely love. Funny, I did not have any caramel bags with the exception of the Sunshine Tote. And then I was, I got this one, I got the Fendi first. Um, and yeah, and I love them. I love this color, I love this hue. It complements beige very well, it complements black very well, it complements white. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous hue. And I truly love this bag. I'm actually kind of like, kicking myself like what took me so long to get a puzzle bag they are very lightweight great travel bag and i just love the detail i love the workmanship i'm a huge fan of the way their leathers are amazing um the next one i get in the puzzle bag will probably be maybe a little bit bigger and with multiple colors i love bags that share multiple colors and they do that so well so we'll see i haven't seen any that have moved me yet but i'm absolutely obsessed with this bag such a great purchase um you've got the straps that are detachable that can come off the silver hardware a zipper pocket at the back um the flap covers the zipper and then it's got a ton of space like i said i use all my bags you've got you see the hand sanitizer the receipts are inside. I use these bags quite often. And this is one of those bags where you can really just use. It takes a good beat. I actually like the way it looks, has a top handle. So like this, it looks great. I like to have my straps just hanging or I take the strap off completely and I wear it as a clutch. So, and it's nice and soft. So it kind of almost has the Bottega pouch vibe of, you know, having something that's a bit deconstructed and not so rigid. And you can just kind of, comfortably put it under your shoulder like um under your arm like that i actually probably will travel with this i've got another trip coming up um and i'm trying to figure out you know what i need that will pack light and this will probably be a good everyday bag um yeah i love it i love this bag i would definitely buy it again um i will buy it again actually but maybe in another color so stay tuned for that if i see a great color but yeah we love on to the next next we have Bottega. Um, first, I think the Jody was my first. No, is this my first Bottega purchase? I can't remember. This or the mini pouch. But anyway, we're going to start with the Jody bag. I love the Jody bag. I actually, they changed the silhouette slightly because the newer ones are slightly different from mine. They, this almost comes out a little bit more this way, but it's, it goes in a little bit more this way with the newer version. That I've noticed um, but a great bag I've worn it a ton just like this has a top handle very very lightweight in this beautiful imperfecto finish in the lambskin I am a huge fan I've always been a fan of Bottega before Bottega was the it brand um, but it's just a beautiful bag it pairs perfectly with my beige um, pumps that I shared earlier and I love it I think this is another bag that I would definitely do in a different color I would love the idea of the bigger version, maybe. I don't know if I need that, but it would be fun to have, why not? Especially if I can wear it as a crossbody. I've never tried it on, so I'm not sure if I can do that with it, but it's just a great bag. It's so versatile. It is so easy to wear. I've dressed it up, I've dressed it down. It's one of those pieces that I absolutely am obsessed with. I would absolutely 100% buy it again. And yeah, I love it. It's just a matter of finding another color and I would I would definitely buy it again if I could find it in a color that's different from what I have already or everything else that I have. So we love. And it feels so good, it's nice and smooth. <laughs> On to the next. All right, so the next bag is my trusty pouch. This bag is everything. I got this bag, I can't remember, I think 2019. I And the funny thing is I got this bag after I got back from Paris and I could have bought it at the airport almost a thousand dollars less but I had done the most already on that trip so I was just like you know what you gotta respect yourself so I didn't buy it and of course a week later <laughs> I bought it from Nordstrom <laughs> but I love it it is such a great bag it is so durable number one I love the long strap I love the fact that you can wear it as a clutch you can you know put the strap on and you can adjust the length of the strap as well I've talked about this bag over and over again that's how you adjust the length and you just redo the knot but it is one of my absolute favorite bags this is my, this is the bag that I grab and go because it's easy it holds its shape and I love it um, and I put it out there before you know should I get the bigger pouch and some people were like no it looks like a whatever whatever and some people were like yes I think I still want the bigger pouch guys like every time I think about it I, I know I want it but funny enough I haven't pulled the trigger when I was in New York 
um, this past trip. I shared the vlog with you guys, so you, you should know what I'm talking about. I didn't share this part, but I was at Bloomingdale's and they had this beautiful greenish brown um, pouch in the regular size, Intercetto finish. And I even had them put it on hold, but just because I had done the most already on that trip, I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going back. I didn't even go back to the store and I apologize to the associate because I don't like to, I don't like, I know when I was working in retail, I didn't like when people did that and said that they were coming back and they wouldn't, but I just, I had to respect myself. Um, but like I said, I might just get it. Y'all let me know. Like, do you think I should, I've been going back and forth with this and eventually I probably will just pull the trigger maybe in the new year. But this is such a great bag, guys. Like you don't have to get the bigger size because the bigger size also doesn't have a strap. If you just want a great bag that you can wear to dinner, but you can wear to play, this is it. Like great price point, easy bag. I'm obsessed with it. One of my best purchases, even though I paid more for it than what I could have gotten it for, I still would have bought it. I would still buy it again. That's how much I love this bag. And that's how functional it has been for me. And it wears so well. No scratches. Well, this is just the natural veining of the leather, but great piece. On to the next. All right, next is this little bitty. Um, when I got back from Finland, um, I did a day in, well, not more of a half day in New York. I slept over in New York and I went shopping with my girlfriend and I had, I picked up the flash boots, the Bottega flash boots with this same beautiful green and I needed a, well, I didn't need, I wanted a bag to kind of have that same green and they had the bigger cassette bag, which honestly I bought a cassette bag. Um, I think last year they ended up returning it because I just was not impressed with the way it was finished and the leather. Um, and I was kind of disappointed because I know Bottega is known for its leathers. And I think that was just an anomaly because all my other Bottega bags are immaculate and very well made in the finish and the leather. So I think I just got a bad one or whatever and they happily took it back. Um, so I was on the hunt for any of their bags. Really, I, I would have done the Jody. I would have done the larger Pochette. I would have done... I would have done... I think anything except for that, the regular size cassette, because I had a bad experience with that one in this green. And when I went to the, I can't remember what store it was. I think it was Saks in New York. They had it. And this was the only one they, they sold. Out. Apparently they've sold out. They can't keep this green in stock. And I get it because this green is everything, everything. So she had the bag, brought it out. The price was amazing. You know, I love my small bags. We've got small bags all over and it's a great bag. Like it takes my wallet. It takes what I need. And I would, wouldn't hesitate to wear this has a clutch as well. I know I didn't do an unboxing or anything for this bag, but it is, but you guys have seen it really in, um, in hauls. The strap is a little longer. Let me see if you, okay, there you go. I stand on my tippy toes because I got my house slippers on now. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a great bag. It's very comfortable. It's like, I'm not carrying anything. Actually, you know, I might wear this today with, um, instead of wearing heels. I go out and just wear it with this look. I really, I really truly love this bag. It is like nothing. Like I feel like there's nothing on me. That's how lightweight it is. Obviously there's nothing in the bag right now, but it's a great bag. The color is amazing, easy to wear. It has a slit on the inside. Since I didn't do anything about or any videos about this, I'll, I'll go over this a little bit. So you have the slit on the inside, no particular lining. And that's another reason why it's lightweight because there's no extra linings add more weight to the bag basically workmanship hardware all of that adds weight but this is a full leather bag so it's very very lightweight um that's just the card that it comes with uh what else do we have here oh it looks like we have two pockets so we've got this one here and then we've got this slip pocket so you can put cards and stuff in there let me put this here so it put that away so i still have my authenticity card or whatever that is and then that's the inside so, you know, not a whole bunch of space, but just enough if you're like me and you carry a small wallet. Um, yeah, you can get a wallet in there. You can get lipstick in there. Let's see, lipstick, easy. And then there's still space. Let me get my wallet one second. One moment, please. So this is basically what I carry. Let's see if it fits. Let me take the lipstick out first. I'm gonna take the lipstick out. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can get in there. I really don't reapply my lipsticks anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, it takes what I need, which is my wallet. Right there. 
and it's good. It's a fun bag. It's a small size. I love it. And you can adjust the strap as well. So that's also another great feature. The leather's pretty durable on this. So I really feel like I don't have to pamper this or baby it in any way. Of course, when I carry all these bags, I'm always very aware that I'm carrying a bag that is, you know, cost me a little bit more money. So I need to just be more aware and make sure I don't snag it on anything. But for the most part, even with my wallet and everything inside of it, it still feels very lightweight and very, very, very comfortable. So would I buy it again? Absolutely. On to the next. All right. So this next bag. Oh. Isn't she pretty? I love it. I did an unboxing of this bag. This was another bag that I was influenced by another influencer. It was Tamu Tim, Tim, McPherson had the bag. She was working with Bulgari and I was just like, oh my gosh. I didn't have anything. Well, I still don't. I don't have anything in this blue, in this particular hue. I love the fact that the, the handle is like jewelry. And I've always wanted one of the Serpenti bags. It was just a matter of finding the perfect one. And this was a collaboration with them with Mary Carazon. So I was just like, that's, that's it. The price, I felt like the price was very reasonable for a bag of this much detail. Um, I go, I went over everything already in that video as well. It also comes with its own strap. So you can wear it as a crossbody. I've taken this to weddings and to special events where, you know, getting tired of holding it i just literally it's so easy to clip on and off and i've changed the strap to a crossbody to the crossbody option i'm obsessed with this bag beautiful leather beautiful color it has this padding on the inside of the leather it's just an absolute treat i'm obsessed with this bag i love this bag i haven't worn it that much um just as an everyday bag because i really feel it's a bit more dressy and it's a bit special so i've worn it you know really to weddings i mean like more special events so but i i i she's she's just so pretty so pretty on to the next when i read the next one which is this beautiful auntie gonna i was like ah i say that because this is such a beautiful bag i've had this bag for such a long time every time i share this bag everyone's like ah you know even though it's old even though Givenchy and, and the antigona is not an it bag anymore i bought this bag when it was an it bag so that's how long i've had it i think i've had this bag for what six years if not more than that yeah i've had it for a long time as you can see immaculate condition and i wear the bag i haven't worn it that much recently but when i got it i wore it a lot beautiful 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 bag the green was just a special color. It was just so special. And I talked about how I nabbed it and it was on a moving caravan from Saks and going to different stores. And, you know, right as I saw it, it was just like, how do you say no to something as beautiful as this? So it's just an absolutely beautiful bag. I'm so happy I got it. I will not get rid of it. People have asked me, do you want to sell it? No, I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it. Even if I don't use it as much as I should, it is still an absolutely stunning bag. The green is beautiful. I will continue to just leave it on display in my office because it brings me joy every time I see it. I love it. I love, love, love it. On to the next. Oh, I didn't ask, answer the question, would I buy it again? Um, I don't know if I would buy another Antigona. That particular green, I would buy it again, but I don't know if I would buy another Antigona right now. I haven't seen anything really in this leather. They have it more in the pebble grain finish, which normally I'm more of a fan of pebble grain leather, but I don't particularly like it in that silhouette. So I don't know if I would buy it again. If you can ever come across this green and this finish and this box calf skin, Yes, buy it, but otherwise, I don't know about the other finishes right now. Maybe something else from Givenchy, but nothing's really speaking to me. And I haven't seen anything that has moved me per se, but that bag, if I see that again anywhere, yes, absolutely get it. Otherwise, eh. now we can go to the next. All right, so the next bag is this beautiful Jacques Mousse bag. For some reason, I, I pronounced this yesterday, but I can't today. But the name is scrolling through. And you guys all know this bag. We've all seen it. Um, I feel like this little round detail was really what got me. Um, it's a little bit bigger. I can get more inside of it. Love the bag. Love this detail. I felt like it kind of dresses it up a little bit where I can really kind of carry it as a top handle, even though you could do that with the other, the normal handle. But I just felt like this was a lot more interesting and I loved the shade of pink. It's in a beautiful suede. The hue is so rich, 
beautiful bag. It comes with its own strap, um, which is off because it's been it's on display. I don't carry it as often as I would like to. Oh gosh, I have lipstick in here. I definitely don't carry it as often. This is a nice color. Hmm. I definitely don't carry it as often as I should, but I do love this bag. It is such a pretty bag, so easy to carry, so easy to wear. It's in my favorite color, pink. I would definitely buy it again, maybe in a different color. If I can find a silhouette, I haven't found it and I'm not a fan of the bigger sizes. So it's just, you know, I've seen the bigger size and I'm just, it's just not for me. This is more of my speed in terms of the sizing. So I am obsessed with the bag. It's such a pretty bag, such a pretty color. I would definitely buy it again. I've been able to dress it up and dress it down. I've more so worn it a bit more casual because I feel like dressing it up, I could always, you know, wear the Chanel. So I've kind of made this my casual pink bag and the Chanel my dressier pink bag. So I love the bag, great pick. On to the next. Another beauty and very well priced bag is my Saint Laurent Cassandra bag. I love the croc embossed leather. I love this beautiful shade of green. Like I said, green and yellow have been two of my favorite colors um, this the past two years. And I just, I love any shade of green really right now. They're all just very rich and they're actually extremely versatile and a great way to add interest and a pop of color to any outfit, especially during the winter. Um, this bag is a great bag. Very, very versatile, great dinner bag, has a top handle, it comes with its own strap so you can wear it as a crossbody. You've got the slip pocket on the outside, easy access by simply turning the L and then it pops open. You've got two compartments on the inside, the long strap is on the inside as well. I'm sorry, all of a sudden my nose has been itching me like crazy, so I apologize, but it's just a beautiful bag, very well made, very well priced. That's one thing I have to give Saint Laurent with their bags. They're very well priced considering the workmanship is immaculate. Um, and it's just one of those brands that have stand the test of time. So I'm obsessed with this bag, great piece to have, great entry price, I feel like entry price luxury bag as well. So this one, the Alma bag, all great entry price luxury bag. So love, love, love and also very durable. That's another good thing. When you have croc emboss, especially in this nice sheen finish, you'll find that the bag can take a beating and it'll still look brand new every time. Keep that in mind. On to the next. All right, next we have this beauty, my Cult Gaia Clutch. I have to say I have not used this bag that often other than hauls. But, you know, now that we're, and obviously, you know, we experienced COVID, so we weren't really going out as much. Um, so now that we can go out, I, I'm going to try to be very cautious to use it because this is a beautiful, I love this bag. This is all, this is why I struggle with having too many bags because then I'm like, when do I use what? <laughs> Other than having them on display. But this bag in particular is actually kind of like art. So I don't mind just having this on display, but it's just absolutely beautiful. Look at the inside, immaculate. And it's in that, um, raffia finish which is just nice and clean and i love called gaia all things called gaia i just feel like they're so artistic and they're very very well priced so never feel like okay i you know i can't have a luxury bag until i spend you know the 2000s or whatever you can get great great bags under a thousand dollars and this one I, if, my, if i'm correct this was under five hundred dollars so this is just a great bag very artistic a statement piece a great conversation piece i am obsessed with it i actually would buy this bag in a different color i was actually going to buy it in black and white then i had to stop myself and check myself because i didn't need it but um who knows i might just do it next year we'll see love 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 this bag everything i love how versatile it is i would 100 percent buy it again on to the next all right so now it's finally time for chanel it's so funny because I was on a Chanel boycott for a long time and I didn't buy anything for, from Chanel in years and all of that really changed in the last um, three years, I would say. And, you know, now I'm kind of borderline obsessed. However, these price increases just don't make sense to me, especially because I got my very first Chanel, 2008. This is... This is my oldest luxury bag here, but it's in the best condition out of all of my Chanel's. And that's not from using it, it's just the quality has gone down. I bought this bag for 2750 2, Canadian. I, I don't know what the exchange rate was at the time, but I know it was cheaper in Canada and 
people who didn't live in Canada were, were restricted to only buying two. They only let you buy two because the price was bitter in Canada at the time. And I know the same bag, if you can even find it, is probably worth $6,000. I'm not selling it, so don't even ask me about that. I'm not gonna sell it. But it's just a beautiful bag. The grain is so much more pronounced on the older bags than they are on the newer bags. And there's just so many differences that I could go over for days. But still one of my all-time favorites, classic 2.5 double flap, whatever it's called. <laughs> don't mind me. But yes, um, yeah. I, I feel like even though I've been collecting a little bit more of Chanel, I, I definitely will not engage in the foolishness with the price increase on on classics. So I'm good for classics. I don't, I you know, I, I'm good. And there's so many other brands that I don't have to pay triple the amount of what it's worth with less workmanship and the fabrics not being as good as they used to be. But um, even with that said, this is still one of my all-time favorite bags. This is a bag that I'll probably pass down to my daughter. It is a classic. It will live in my closet forever. And then she will have it, and I'm sure she'll be able to pass it down because it just, they wear, well, I don't know about now, but they wear well. Like, beautiful. Just beautiful bag. One of my absolute favorites. And like I said, I gave you guys the history. Wear so well. Beautiful bag. Looks amazing. Absolutely adore it. Next we have my Chanel 19. I feel like the 19s, I went back to buying Chanel because of the Chanel 19. When I saw the Chanel 19, I was just like, that's it. Like that, that bag is me. It is a good combination of modern, contemporary, but also classic. And that is my style in a nutshell. I love pieces that stand the test of time. I love pieces that are interesting. I love pieces that are borderline, like, well, have, I would say, I would, even, yeah, I would say a little bit of a masculine touch and you kind of get that with the hardware. I feel like the hardware is rugged. You have the different tones and I love wearing different metals and all of that. So. I was just like, that's it, like that is the bag. The first time I saw the Chanel 19, um, it was between the Chanel 19 and black, black leather, or the Fendi Peekaboo ICU, the ICU one, because I'm not a fan of the 19 and the leather. There's something about the leather that just rubs me the wrong way. It almost looks like pigskin, which has this almost like plasticky finish. That's how I see it. No disrespect to anyone who has it, it's just not for me. And I've seen some of them in the leather that I absolutely admire, but just not for me. Just with my leather background, I'm just not a fan of that particular leather. But when I saw the tweed, it changed. My love for the 19 changed as well. This was my first 19 in the black and white, and this was before all the prices became outrageous with the 19s as well. If I'm correct, I got this one under 4,000, if I'm correct. And funny enough, I checked the prices like on eBay or whatever, like a day or two later, and they were like selling for 6,000. And I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. But I love, like adore this bag. Um, I don't, I, I have to say I'm not a fan of the way it's wearing because it is tweed, obviously it's fabric. They tend to wear this way. So you do have, you know, little pulls here and there, but it's, and I, I just traveled with this bag. So I've got mask in there. I've got my hand sanitizer. Um, but I have to say, even though it's, I would almost say this is the expected wear, but I can't say that because my yellow wears so much better. So be very aware of that. If you're okay with the pulling, they tend to show a little bit more on the black for some reason. And then I think the black and white makes it show even more, but I still am a fan. I love it. I would buy it again. And it travels so well. When I travel, I put a bag inside of this bag and because it's lightweight, because it's um, fabric, it's easy to carry. And then I can squish it a little bit without worrying that, oh, the bag is gonna lose its shape and whatnot and put it in the Dior book tote. So it's been a very functional bag for me. I have used this bag quite a lot and I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the wear, well, I won't say I'm happy with the wear, I'm lying if I say I'm happy with the wear, but it's not the end of the world for me. Um, and obviously I, it's fabric, so it takes the stains in a little bit. So I, I have a little bit of a lipstick stain on there, which you won't really see unless you come this close. And I'm not letting anyone come this close to my bag. So I would buy it again. I would, you know, it's, it, it's become my beat around bag per se. 
um, because this is the one that I just, you know, throw on and throw in the car and then throw in the bag and not really worry about it as much as I probably would worry about the leathers. So I do love the bag. The prices have gone up maybe four four times since I got it. I got it at the end of last year and the prices have gone up so much that it's just, it doesn't make sense. But it is a beautiful bag. I'm absolutely obsessed with the black and white and I have other pieces now that kind of just work so well with it. So yeah, I, I'm still a fan and I would buy it again despite, well, I don't know about at the price increase, but if I had the option to buy it again at the price I got it for, I would. All right, so the next one is my yellow Chanel 19. So that is the medium size. And then this is a smaller size. This one was something I didn't plan. I can't remember why I was in the store, but I saw this and I was just like, how, how do you say no? <laughs> um, absolutely beautiful bag. I am obsessed. It looks immaculate. This bag has been wearing a lot better than the other, and I don't know why. I am obsessed with it. It is an absolutely stunning bag. I would buy it over and over and over again. It makes a great clutch, a great day bag. I've worn it with so many different ways. I bought a yellow coat just to be able to wear it with this bag and a yellow hat. Like it is just one of my all time favorite pieces. So impressed with this bag. I bought it before, all, I think I bought it before at least two price increases because I know when I got this, there was probably a $200 difference between this bag and that one. So the prices had, a, had gone up already, but I still got it anyways, just because it was just absolutely beautiful. I love when I say I love this bag I'm not even kidding like I love the bag it's in yellow it's beautiful I would 100% buy it again 100% without a, without even blinking maybe not with all the increases but yeah I probably with one more increase I would buy it I don't know but I, I, I love it if you want a Chanel 19 I would say probably do it in one of the lighter colors I just feel like it doesn't look as funky as the black and white in this yellow beigey color. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with it. On to the next. All right, so next we've got this baby, which is a classic mini flap in lambskin. My first mini flap. I love it. Absolutely beautiful bag. It's in this gorgeous pink. I actually bought this the same day I got the Alma bag. I got the Alma bag and was obsessed with it because I wanted a bag in that color. And my girlfriend, Layla, sent me this bag in that color. But by the time I got to Chanel, someone had bought it. And then they brought this one out, literally, they were unpackaging it. Two of, they had three, two were spoken for, and they were like, well, if you want this one, it's not gonna probably, you know, last on the floor. So I bought it and I'm so happy I did. It is an absolutely beautiful bag. I've never, I'm never really a fan of lambskin just because it doesn't wear as well as anything in your caviar, pebble grain, cow high. They're more, cow high is more durable and lambskin is a bit more delicate. So I'm definitely very aware when I'm carrying this bag. It is in my favorite shade of pink. So that was another reason why I just couldn't say no. And I'm happy I bought it because after buying it, the price went up again. So that's why I say I feel like I'm good for my classics. I've got the mini, I've got that other size, which I think is a medium size or small. I think that's the small, I can't remember. And then I feel like I'm good and I can maybe do fun, other fun Chanel bags, but in terms of just the classics, I'm good. Like this, I love, I love. I'm very happy I got it. I did the whole unboxing with you guys already, so I'm not gonna go over all of that again. And, but yeah, it's just a beautiful bag. It's very delicate. Obviously it's in lambskin, the colors, a little bit more delicate, but I love it with the silver hardware. Great piece. Um, it also doesn't fit as much as I would love, but I, if I'm correct, I went over all of that in the unboxing of the bag. So like I said, all the links for that will be in the description box. So let's go to the next. I don't know if you really call this a little, a bag per se, but technically it is a bag because um, my ear pods go in there. So this was just a fun little piece that I saw and I bought it and I'm so happy I did because I love it. I wanted this, the AirPod, AirPod case holder, and I wanted the sunglass case holder. Um, the sunglass one, I told them to return it um, and I'm happy I did because it just really wasn't for me. But this has probably been one of my 
most functional purchases from Chanel because I wear this all the time, especially when I'm traveling. I've lost my AirPods before, so this way I don't lose them. I know where they are. And every time I wear it, people stop me and they're like, oh my God, that is so cute. And it also serves as jewelry. So I would recommend these if you, you know, it is, obviously it's, but when it comes to luxury, really what, we don't need any of it. So they're all verbalist purchases, but I just think this is so fun. It's so interesting. It adds interest to your outfit. I've worn it multiple, multiple times, many different ways, and I will continue to wear it multiple ways. So I love, highly, highly recommend it if you feel like splurging on an AirPod case holder, but keep in mind, it's also jewelry. Like it would look good with this outfit. Like, let me show you. See? Just ignore the Fendi first. Let me say it's just such a great piece and it just adds interest. I love it. I love it. On to the next. All right, last but not least, number 32. I think this is my newest bag. I think this is my newest bag. Well, I picked this one up when I was in New York. I'm obsessed. Was not on my radar. I did see this whole iridescent color gradient thing on chanel.com and it definitely caught my eye, but I didn't realize they had it in a clutch slash wristlet. So when I was in New York, I saw it there and I was just like, oh my word, how do I say no? Like it's green, it's purple, it's yellow. It's like a whole bunch of different colors and it's beautiful. And I love the hardware. It is a great bag. I've carried it to dinner, great dinner, great dinner bag. And like I said, I'm obsessed. I love this bag. Such a great piece. Um, I did do the unboxing, so I shared all the details, I think, with you guys. The inside, just in case I didn't. The inside is pretty small, but you know, it only carries what you need for dinner. You've got the nylon um, lining on the inside, slip pocket. Mind you, at this price point, because it was, I think, $3,800 for a nylon lining. But it's Chanel, we know. That Chanel likes to like throw, just throw the prices because we buy. That's that's the only reason why. If everyone stopped, they wouldn't jack up the prices that way. But it's still a beautiful bag, really pretty. Love the color, love the workmanship. Um, would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. It's so unique and it's not like anything I have. So I would definitely buy it again. Love it. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope this video is not too long. I hope it wasn't too long. But those are my top bags. I still have a few here and there, but those are the bags that I'm just obsessed with right now. I love everything in my collection. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this kind of helped if you were considering buying any of these bags. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get next. Oh, you know what? Maybe you guys can help. In the comments section, let me know what bag you feel like I should add next. Other than the Kelly, I don't want a Birkin. Other than the Kelly that I've been patiently waiting for, let me know what I should get next. Um, I'm probably not gonna get any more bags this year, but best know, oh, not best know, but trust and believe, I will be getting more bags next year. So I will definitely share an updated um, bag collection mid-year, and then I will do another one of these videos at the end of the year. Um, it's been a pleasure sharing my passion for bags with you guys this year. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. If this was your first time visiting my channel and you enjoyed the video, you enjoyed my vibe, please don't forget, don't, not forget, but don't hesitate to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. We love having fun here. This is a judgment-free zone when it comes to luxury shopping, and you guys have just been the best community, so I am just saying thank you in advance. It's been an awesome year. I do have, I think I have well, about two or three more videos before the end of the year, and then my goal is to take some time off. We'll see. We'll see. But yes, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like. I appreciate when you guys like it. And it also tells YouTube that this is a great video and they share. So don't hesitate to like, leave your comments. I read them all. I respond to them all. Um, yeah. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's odd by Moni. I have tons of style inspo there. You kind of get to see what's going on with me in real time. Most of my collaborations are on Instagram. My blog is nine years old, you know, and it, it started as a blog, but obviously Instagram has been a major factor. So please make sure you check out my Instagram page. If you are on Instagram, make sure you follow me. Um, check me out on TikTok because we're having tons of fun on TikTok. It's Odd by Moni on both platforms. And you gotta check out my website, oddbymonica.com. We just turned nine. It is an amazing blog. I put a lot of work into it. I've invested a lot into it just to make 
your shopping experience so much easier. Tons of style inspo, tons of shopping inspo and shopping links and whatnot. So get lost on the website oddbymonica.com and have fun with it. So like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, bye guys.